Hi, I'm Joe Chilly. Mornings from 7 to 9 on Buffalo's oldie station, the Big Weck. Joining us on the Big Weck's Buffalo on the Rise is Tim Hiller. Tim is from Hiller Comerford Injury and Disability Law. Great to have you here today. Great to be here. Thanks for joining us. Uh, tell us a little bit about the law offices. I'm sure everybody was familiar with the law offices of Kenneth Hiller. So tell us why you're making the change to Hiller Comerford. Sure. So, you know, as most people out there know, the law office of Kenneth Hiller uh, was founded in about 1999, and, and it really developed a reputation in the area as a social security disability law firm. But what a lot of people don't know is that, you know, from the beginning, my father was always interested in expanding out into other areas of law where he felt he could make a difference in other people's daily lives. So, you know, for instance, over the years, um, my father had established a, a VA disability practice, a personal injury practice, uh, a consumer rights and a civil rights practice. And so, you know, kind of because of, uh, he was a victim of his own success with social security disability, it was hard to kind of get the, the word out that we did other things. And so part of this rebrand is to bring attention to some of those other areas um, and, and to build upon, you know, the success that he's had with the social security disability. Um, you know, the other thing is, we wanted to uh, kind of take a moment, uh, Ida Comerford and I, uh, my partner, wanted to take a moment and just kind of um, think about what direction we wanted to go in as a firm. And, and, and rebranding and changing the name kind of gave, gave us an opportunity to you know, focus our attention. And so we picked three areas of law, uh, veterans disability, social security disability, and personal injury. And we're, we're kind of focusing around that. And so that, that Hiller Comerford brand that we're launching is we really wanted to be synonymous with those three areas. So the office of Kenneth Hiller, for, uh, uh, Hiller is, is no more. That's, that's, you know, it's just, it's the new uh, face of the company that you have now. Correct. And, you know, uh, there was, there's some fear, you know, when we, when we, when Ida and I bought the, the firm actually in 2021 and, you know, uh, the law office of Kenneth Hiller had been so successful, you know, mm -hmm. you're kind of like, well, do we really want to change the name, right? But, you know, Ida and I had a talk and, and, and you know, we felt that, you know, we didn't want to just take over this company and just kind of like coast. You know, we felt that we owed it to my father's legacy to continue to try to improve it. And so part of what we're trying to do by changing the name is to live up to that and to, and to take the, the company to the next level. Was that a difficult thing for your dad? I mean, I, I, you know, I, I know family businesses, you know, sometimes when the younger folks come in and they take over, it's kind of like, yeah, you can take over to a point, but you know, was yeah. it a tough thing? You know, I think, I think it was and it wasn't, you know, I'm sure he had some, some feeling, you know, he, he built this from, from nothing, you know, the law office of Kenneth Hiller, he built this from nothing, you know, I was there, I was a teenager when he was, when he was building this, and so I saw, you know, the, the work that he's put in over the years, so I'm sure there were some feelings, but I think, you know, mostly from talking about him, he's just excited um, for, for Ida, who's a dear friend of my father, and obviously for, for me, and the direction that we're headed in. So tell us a little bit about your background and about Ms. Comerford's background. Yeah, so I mean, I was basically born into this. You know, like I mentioned, I was a teenager when my, uh, when my father started um, the firm. And uh, so I was kind of coming of age. And, you know, I remember, you know, him, uh, you know, I, we would be in the car back then. They still had cassettes. And, and, and so, you know, I remember listening to a cassette tape of a Social Security disability hearing and kind of asking my father questions, you know, what's going on? And he would he would explain it to me, or he would come home and talk about, you know, a personal injury case. And so, um, you know, I was kind of born into, you know, the, this practice. And I did have a brief period in college where I thought maybe I was going to be a doctor, but, but kind of destiny kicked in and, and uh, you know, here I am. And, you know, Ida was, uh, you know, Ida was born into it in her own way as well. Um, she, um, you know, obviously she has no family relation, but, um, you know, what I know, what I've gotten to know about Ida, she, she was she was born in South Buffalo, and and she's, you know, her upbringing really instilled uh, in her, you know, a, a deep need to want to be helpful to other people, and and specifically regular everyday people who are in need, you know, and so um, she was she was born into the ethos of this law firm, and so we both kind of bring that background, um, but we also bring some energy and a desire to like take this to the next level. Just you should have met me sooner. I would have uh, introduced you to cassettes that have music on them. Instead <laughs> That's of the, right. instead of the, but, but you know, uh, so what makes Hiller Comerford different from other law firms in the area? Well, there's a few things. I mean, number one, I think as it comes to Social Security disability, you know, 
My father did not get a reputation for being excellent at Social Security Disability by accident. You know, we really are the brain trust when it comes to Social Security Disability. We have law firms all around the country who hand us their unfavorable disability decisions and say, help us. You know, so it's, it, so it's not just that we're the brain trust in Western New York or even in New York State. We're really, we really have a national reputation as being on the forefront of that area of law. Another thing that, that uh, distinguishes us from other law firms in the area is that we handle veterans disability law. You know, there's a huge need for our veterans, you know, especially with, uh, you know, unfortunately with the wars that have gone on, um, you know, in the 2000s, we have a lot of injured and disabled veterans. And you know, they, have, they have a need for services, they have a need for disability benefits because they've been injured. And uh, you know, dealing with the VA is a very difficult process. And so uh, one thing that separates us is you know, we dove into this very complex area of law and, and you know, we've built this veterans disability practice. You know, I think the final thing that, that separates us in the personal injury realm is um, number one, we truly are in it for the clients. You know, you're never going to see with us, you're never going to see us Viking bill um, a client for, you know, fees and costs, you know, uh, you know and, and, and the other thing is we're not just in it for a quick settlement, you know. Um, if your case needs to go to trial, we'll take your case to trial. You know, we're not just going to sell the case short just because, you know, it's more cost efficient for us to, um, you know, settle it uh, quickly. We really are in it to improve our clients' lives. Tim Hiller from Hiller Cumberford Injury and Disability Law. Thank you very much. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. For more information on the law offices of Hiller Cumberford, you can call 1-866-HILLER-LAW or www.hillercumberford.com. Sponsorship and proposal consideration for the preceding segment was provided by the law offices of Hiller Cumberford.